Hi everyone, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp and welcome into another Making the Cut video. Making the Cut is my monthly series here on Simon Says Stamp where we talk about all things die cutting. Today we're going to be creating this super cute birdhouse card and I'm going to share some tips for customizing for really any season. This is going to be more of a spring themed or even a love-ish Valentine's type card, but I definitely wanted it to feel like spring. We're going to start by customizing the birdhouse itself. I've got a piece of apricot cardstock from Lawn Fawn that I'm going to stamp with some blush Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated ink using the Simon Says Stamp soft plaid background. And this is just going to give our birdhouse some fun de decor or decoration, almost like die cutting from a piece of pattern paper, but we've made our own. I'm gonna line up the birdhouse. This is from the scalloped birdhouse set from Simon Says Stamp. And I think it would be really fun to create a birdhouse for pretty much any season. Uh, there's beautiful bird dyes from Simon Says Stamp, and you can decorate this adorable birdhouse in so many ways. Next, I am going to take that same blush ink and an ink blending brush from Simon Says Stamp and just go around the edges lightly, just adding a touch of color around the edges. This ink will kind of, I hate to say fade, but it'll mute or absorb into the cardstock. It won't be quite as dark as you see here. From the remaining components from the scalloped birdhouse, I die cut the roof from some Simon Says Stamp wood grain cardstock. I also, the opening to the birdhouse, the inside, and then the bottom that the birdhouse sits on, the platform, all of those are die cut from wood grain. And then the adorable little scallop, I did die cut from some speckled egg Lawn Fawn cardstock, so it's not pure white. I really went with more of an ivory tone for a lot of the elements on my card today. I used Cappuccino Positively Saturated ink for adding some dimension to the wood grain, but I used Mocha for the inside of the birdhouse so that it's a little darker looking into that birdhouse. I'm doing all of my ink blending on the glass mat from Simon Says Stamp. It makes cleanup a snap. For the greenery, I went through my collection of Simon Says Stamp greenery type dies, and I picked something that I thought would work with the size and scale of the birdhouse. I particularly loved the leafy little branch from the Simon Says Stamp flower bundle. I've die cut that from some sage Lawn Fawn cardstock three times, and I am using a little bit of the Pine Positively Saturated ink and a small ink blending tool to add darker color just in the center of the branches, so it gives it a little bit of shading, but I'm not going to apply it to the whole thing. I really love adding a little bit of ink blending to colored cardstock die cut pieces. It makes it a snap to put together a card. Next up, we have, of course, our little birdie. We have to have a little bird that lives in this adorable home. This is the layered songbird from Simon Says Stamp. I've die cut a lot of the components from the eggshell Lawn Fawn cardstock, and I will also be using the chocolate cardstock from Lawn Fawn chocolate bar, I think, uh, but we'll get back to that in a minute. I used a little cappuccino to add some shading to the underbelly of my little songbird. For the background of my card today, I'm going to go back with that same sage cardstock, and this time we're going to use the Simon Says Stamp Quilted Hearts background to create a really pretty decorative background to layer our birdhouse and bird on. I stamped the image with the embossing and watermark ink from Simon Says Stamp, and instead of white embossing powder, I am using the beautiful um, cream. I absolutely love the cream. It's a little unexpected, and it definitely gives a creamier vibe than white will, and it's going to coordinate beautifully with the speckled eggshell cardstock accents that are included in my card. 
I this is probably one of my favorite backgrounds. I think it is just so fun. Um, I'm a quilter and so I definitely love that kind of quilty vibe to this, but I also just love this background all of the time. And the little teeny tiny hearts there in the background just are absolutely adorable. Now, I, what is a background for me with lately anyway, without adding a little distressing? I am gonna take this tarnished brass, brass, pardon me, mica spray from Tim Holtz, and I'm just gonna splatter a little bit of it over the background. And it's going to be very subtle. I didn't want it to be anything too dark. I am gonna hit it with a heat tool. It was, um, the cardstock was kind of warping it probably would have flattened as it dried, but I wanted to speed that up and it flattened it out perfectly. And you can see that the distressing is going to be very, very light and minimal, but I think it adds a really pretty look. Now I needed, well, I guess I didn't need, but I wanted some sort of fun embellishment for my birdhouse that had a little banner. So I looked through my stash and I decided to use this Lawn Fawn die set. This was a new die set for their Valentine's release this year. And what I loved is this, this little heart banner has the banner and the layering pieces. So I've die cut the banner itself from the speckled eggshell cardstock and then the hearts from Hero Arts cherry cardstock and Simon Says Stamp gold matte cardstock. And I love the little gold accents. This is going to be the first introduction. Well, not the first, I guess we've kind of got the tarnished brass in the background, but it's going to tie it all together. So we're gonna have some gold hearts. We're gonna have gold flower centers in a little bit and some gold embossing for our sentiment. And I like the red and gold. I feel like it doesn't make it super Valentine's-ish, but it also would work for Valentine's Day uh, if you wanted to. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the roof. I'm going to glue the wood grain over the scallop and I am going to pop this up with a little foam adhesive. I'm going to take the Simon Says Stamp foam adhesive and actually just cut it in half. I did not do my best job cutting this in half, but that's okay, no one's gonna see it. And we're going to use that to then just pop up the roof a little bit. I felt like it needed a little dimension. And I think this is going to be super, super cute. This is going to allow me to easily layer my banners kind of underneath so that they're draped along the top. I love finding ways to adorn and decorate this birdhouse for the seasons. So even imagine like for Easter, you could add um, a little Easter bunny, um, some carrots, Easter eggs. I think that you could definitely transition this birdhouse seasonally, just using what you have on hand at home. I'm also going to pop up the base of my birdhouse, which is going to allow me to tuck my bird and the greenery all around. I'm going to glue down part of my greenery. Well, I thought I was going to. I think that looks a little funny. Hold on. And I made a little mess. Let's go ahead and attach the base of our birdhouse first along the bottom edge. Oh, and I did forget to mention the base of the birdhouse I die cut twice because I am going to make um, like a little pole, like this is a birdhouse that's staked into the ground. That is my imagining, I guess, if you will. Um, then I did tuck that first piece of greenery into the base and I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp tweezers to kind of clamp and hold that down while the glue dries. Another piece of the greenery is going to be kind of um, snaking up the side of the birdhouse on the left hand side of the card. I did keep the cream colored piece from die cutting uh, the layering pieces for my birdhouse and then the wood grain and I'm going to just layer that cream piece underneath to help pop up the opening of the birdhouse. You don't have to do that but I already had that extra piece so I went ahead and kept that. 
I'm going to assemble the bird and I realized I think he needs a little shading for those darker chocolate pieces. So I'm just going to grab my glass mat again. And even though I've attached his head, I'm just gonna take my mocha and just shade a little bit and go ahead and do the layering pieces for the rest of my songbird and then glue those together. The only thing I'm not going to glue down quite yet is the beak. That was, because the songbird is all one single die, I did die cut all of the components from the speckled eggshell. So you could ink up all of the different components with different colors of ink and layer them. I did die cut this twice, once from the speckled eggshell, once from chocolate bar, but for the beak, I'm going to keep the eggshell piece and we're going to ink that piece up. But we'll do that here in a little bit. Next, I need to figure out where my bird's going to go so that he, I don't wanna cut his tail off. So I'm gonna move him kind of close to the center there of the birdhouse. And then I will glue down the remaining little branch that goes right here on the front. I think I want that one to trail down a little bit more. And where that branch kind of overlaps and, and it doesn't look quite as pretty, not quite as clean, I will disguise that by adding some little flowers into my um, scene here in just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put some liquid glue all over the back of my birdhouse and we're going to glue this down to the card background. I've already got several things popped up, so I decided not to pop up the whole card, or pardon me, the whole birdhouse. And I do wanna glue down that other little layering piece that I die cut and inked. And then as soon as that is done drying, I will go ahead and trim that away. And I'm going to insert the inside of my birdhouse as well. Now we already have our banners assembled. So now I need to figure out kind of where I want to drape those along the upper portion of the birdhouse. I'm also going to start attaching these little flowers. This is the Simon Says Stamp mini flower set. I die cut those from some Hero Arts cherry cardstock as well. I love the cherry color with the apricot cardstock. I think that's a really pretty color combination. And then the sage of the background and leaves is also just soup. It's all really pretty together. Very fresh. Definitely the vibe I'm going for. This time of the year, we start dreaming about spring. I want to drape these two pieces, so I'm gonna glue one down. I may need to snip off parts of my banner to make it all fit, or just kind of use the tip of my scissors to tuck that underneath. I didn't get my second banner placed exactly right. Um, I didn't like it as much. Um, when I went to attach it, I noticed I straightened it out quite a lot. I liked it how I had it laid down before where it was up a little higher. Um, so I very quickly was like, oh, I don't like that. So I did pull it up a little bit. I'm going to have to do a little surgery, snip part of that away to get that to fit and also pick up a little bit of that glue. But it all ends up working out in the end and I'm much happier with how the banner looks. We're going to take some citrine positively saturated ink and just ink up the beak of our cute little bird. I'm gonna pounce it on uh, with my blending brush, glue that in place. And of course for the eye, we will replace the eye with a pearl in a little bit. I generally don't die cut the eye. I like to use something like pearls or even some uh, Nouveau crystal drops in black or if you have an alcohol ink marker and some white pearls, you can always color one of those in with a black marker. Now I'm going to take some of these beautiful gold satin baubles from Trinity Stamps and these are going to be adhered to the center of the flowers, tying in with the gold accents on our card with the splatter, the hearts, and now the flower centers.
And then we're going to go ahead and grab some black bobbles and add one to the eye of our songbird. The sentiment for my card today, I really love the look of these Love You Greetings from Simon Says Stamp, and sending love and hugs is something that is going to work for a lot of occasions. I'm gonna take this scrap of white cardstock, stamp my sentiment right there and with the embossing ink and emboss with antique gold embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp and use the coordinating die to die cut my greeting. Now, originally, I kind of thought my greeting might look cute at the top of the birdhouse, uh, but I don't love how that looks. Um, it, it feels like it just blends into the birdhouse too much. So I played around with placement and there were a couple of different ways I could have adhered that to the card to make it look okay. I think um, maybe layered over part of the birdhouse, but I ended up kind of moving it down to the lower right corner of the design and I really liked how that looked. It kind of kept the scene nice and clean, but it definitely leaves the top of the birdhouse open, which it needs something else. And I had pulled the perfect bow originally, but it had set it aside as I was creating my card because I thought I wasn't going to use it. So I definitely am going to grab that and die cut that from some cherry card stock. But I love how the greeting looks down here. I think it just stands out a lot better as well as makes the birdhouse a lot cleaner. I'm going to put some foam squares. These are the Simon Says Stamp foam squares on the back of my greeting and we're going to just um, attach that down here. I'm going to kind of play with it slightly overlapping uh, a leaf somewhere. It just kind of makes it more part of the scene as opposed to just feeling like you've just stuck it on the card. So that one tiny little leaf piece I'm gonna carefully maneuver these, is going to overlap just a tiny bit. And I love it. The sentiment is nice and delicate and just works perfectly. This is that perfect bow I was talking about. I like to run the bow piece through my fingers. You can see I'm just curving and curling that cardstock, and it is going to make it nice and pliable so that you can then take some glue and bend those sides in to make the bow. The tweezers from Simon Says Stamp are perfect for this as you can use those to help hold your bow in shape while the liquid glue is drying. The little bow tails, oh, look how cute that's gonna look at the top of the house. I am loving it. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the bow tails down. And then there is a little straight piece that you can wrap around the center. I honestly probably could have left that guy off. I am going to cover the center with a heart accent, but that's completely personal preference. I'm gonna wrap that little center piece around. And again, your tweezers are your best friend. Um, they just help hold everything nice and flat. I will add a white heart to the center of that bow. And then also from Trinity Stamps is a great little mail, uh, little envelope embellishment, a little clay embellishment. And I am going to glue that kind of looking like it's right underneath the beak of our songbird. So it looks like he's holding a little letter in his beak. How cute is that? I love these little embellishments. I think it just works for a lot of different cards and it's going to finish off this particular design perfectly. And I accidentally popped the whole thing up. So what I ended up doing is I'm going to add a little more glue and I'm going to glue my heart in place and then I am going to use my tweezers to clamp the whole thing and I actually left it there. I kind of walked away and forgot about it, but it's going to secure everything in place just perfectly. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for the February edition of Making the Cut here at Simon Says Stamp. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube for your convenience. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you again next month. Bye. Hi there. I'm
I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.